Hi everyone. This is not going to be about my usual freebies and deals. This is about a problem I'm having with um, my dental insurance. And if you've ever had problems with your dental insurance or your medical insurance or having bills to pay um, for medical and dental that you're having issues with, then you'll be able to relate to this. And this problem started about two and a half years ago. And I'm thinking about it today because I actually went to the dentist. Um, so I went to the dentist today and two and a half years ago started my ordeal that I'm in still. I was told that I needed six crowns. And my insurance has been refusing to pay for it. The reason why I need the crowns is because I have erosion of six of my teeth due to heartburn. I was having heartburn. I didn't think I was having like a lot of it. I was having some. Didn't think that much of it. Thought oh, it's only heartburn. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody has heartburn sometimes. Um, but it did ruin six of my teeth. And um, they said, well, if you're having it while you're awake, you're probably having it while you're sleeping too. And so you're probably having a lot more of it than you realize. So now I'm on medication for it. But Delta Dental does not pay for crowns that are due to erosion. So, first of all, if you're having heartburn, do something about it. Don't ignore it. Um, and if you have erosion, Delta Dental does not allow for that, that your claim will be rejected. Um, so, if you have heartburn, frequent vomiting, for whatever reason, they will not help you pay for your dental bills and crowns are very expensive. So people that have like bulimia, um, they could possibly damage their teeth. They won't get help paying their, their dental bills. People that ha are going through cancer treatment that may be throwing up a lot, they won't get help. And if you have heartburn, you won't get help from dental, 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 Delta Dental either. But if you have decay, if you have a large amount of decay on a tooth or teeth, they'll pay for that. So if I decided not to brush my teeth for a month and had needed 10 crowns, they'd probably pay for that. But because I had heartburn instead of decay, and I, you know, it's erosion, they don't pay for that. So I really think, first of all, that's unfair. And I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, but I am just saying, I think that is completely unfair. And if there was anything that anybody could do about it, if I could do about it or you know, if a group of people could get together and try to figure out what we can do to change that, I would really like to do that. I don't really see that happening because I would have no clue what to do. But the second factor is I exhausted all my claims, grievances, and appeals. So they kept saying no, 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 and no. So then I finally got two of the crowns done in September because my teeth were so bad that it couldn't wait any longer. And the crowns are, like I said, very expensive. And then I had to make a payment, paid 600 and something dollars when I got the crowns done. And that was just a part of the payment. It's over, it's like around $2,000. So in October, I got an email from Delta Dental and they say, you have a new statement, please log into your account to view your statement. So I view my statement. And this is what I saw. This is my appointment on September 2nd where I had two crowns. My cost is zero. Down here, it said that the dentist asked for $2,796. The accepted fee was $2,431.60. That is the accepted fee that is the amount that the dentist agrees to accept as full payment for your dental service. And then it says right here, Delta Dental pays $1,865.28. And that means Delta Dental pays is the dollar amount paid by your dental plan. My cost, once again, it says down here is zero. Okay, so I logged in, I saw that, and I actually almost just deleted the email and didn't look at it because I was so used to them refusing and denying everything. It was like repeated, like, you know, like maybe 50 times. And so I was shocked. 
I was really thrilled about this and I thought, oh my God, they really paid it. I took a snip. I was excited. I told a whole bunch of people because I had been telling people that I have to get this expensive dental work done and the insurance won't pay for it. And I'm like, you guys, look, they finally paid for it. Can you believe this? I was telling a lot of people and showing them the picture of it and, you know, just totally excited. And then I thought, oh, cool. I can just move on with my life and, you know, everything's fine. Well, then in November, I get a bill from the dentist saying that I owe the $2,000. And I called them. I said, wait a minute, you guys. The the insurance company finally did agree to pay for it. You guys got paid by Delta Dental. And they said, no, we didn't get any payment. The only money we got was the money, the one payment you gave us of 600 and something. So then I called the insurance company. And I said, the dental office is saying they didn't get paid from you guys. And the, and the, the person at Delta Dental said, well, that's true. We never paid it. We never said we were going to pay it. All your claims and grievances and appeals have been denied. And we never paid it. And we're not going to. And I said, but you guys said you sent me a statement saying it was paid. And she's like, no, we didn't. I said, yes, you did. I said, I'm going to send you a snip. I asked the lady at Delta Dental for her email, and I sent her the exact thing that I'm showing you here. I sent it to her. And before she saw this, she wasn't giving me the time of day. And after that, she was like, oh, my God, I've worked for Delta Dental for 20 years. I've never seen anything like this. Because when I log into my account um, in November, this is not what I see. I see that they didn't pay anything, and they owe like $2,000. Um, so it had been changed. She's like, I've never seen anything like this about like this in my whole life. You know, I'm going to have to ask my supervisor. She asks the supervisor. The supervisor says, you have to file another grievance. So I filed a grievance. The grievance is six weeks later. All of your claims, appeals, and grievances have been denied. We do not cover crowns due to erosion. They did not answer the question. Um, why did you say that it was paid? And then pretend like that didn't happen. They completely ignored that question. That's something I've been wanting to know, and they won't answer that. So then I filed with the Better Business Bureau. That was resolved within three weeks. They closed the case. Um, I told them the whole story. The company actually responded, and they said the whole thing. You know, all your grievances and claims and appeals have been denied and exhausted, and we're not paying for anything. Um, and then... The Better Business Bureau says, do you accept the company's response? They've responded, this is what they said. And I said, no, I don't. First of all, I want them to pay for it. And second of all, I want them to answer the question saying, why did you send me this statement saying it was paid and now you're pretending like it didn't happen? I don't want to be told that it's denied because they don't cover crowns due to erosion. I've been told that a hundred times. I want to know why they did not. They, did, they sent me this statement saying they paid it and then... Now they're pretending like that never happened. That's what I want answered. So that was never answered. I was stonewalled on that. And then I filed with the Minnesota Department of Commerce. They never responded to that. I also filed with the better um, the Attorney General. The Attorney General has written three letters to them. And they have not responded to one of them. The third one was last week. I don't know how many times the Attorney General's office will try to contact Delta Dental. I don't know what happens if Delta Dental continues to ignore them over and over and over again. I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. So I still have an open case with the Attorney General's office and the Minnesota Department of Commerce. I don't really know what to do from here. Um, I went to the dentist today. They said, well, you still need four more crowns. And I said, well, I'm still dealing with this situation from the two crowns I got in September. And I might have to pay this $2,000 out of pocket. And I don't know if I want to add another two or four more crowns right now to pay another two or $4,000 on top of the $2,000 I may have to pay. So now those are on hold. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what's going to happen. But the other thing I have to say is that I don't like the way a lot of these dental offices do business. I don't like how when you get two crowns or six crowns or however many crowns, it could be a thousand, two thousand, six thousand dollars, and they're like, you need to pay the whole thing right now. You need to pay your part of it now. Or if it, if the insurance isn't paying anything, you have to pay the whole thing now. Or you ha can take three months, three even payments. If none of that works for you, then you have to apply for a loan. And I'm not going to apply for a loan. And if someone does not have that amount of money where they can pay, you know, a thousand or six hundred or whatever it might be, you know, at that time, 
then I guess the answer is they have to go without dental insurance because they have to go without dental care because a person who cannot afford it is probably someone, if they applied for a loan, would be rejected because they don't have enough income to qualify. So what do people do when they cannot afford to sign their life away for dental treatment? Um, I know people, I know someone that had to have a crown. She went in, got the temporary crown, never went back to get the permanent crown because she did, did not want to pay, really couldn't afford the $600 that she would have to pay at that next appointment. And so this is a middle-class working woman um, who makes decent money, still didn't have the $600. I also know a friend's sister who has several abscess teeth that she's had for years, and she's a single parent who works at Walmart, and she cannot afford to get her teeth taken care of. So she's walking around with abscess teeth, having pain, being infected, it could kill her. She's walking around like that and she can't afford it. So she's not getting it done. And that could be life threatening eventually. So I just think that's not right. The way dental offices demand that you pay a large amount of money. Like I feel like they should be willing to work with people and like they could have like a minimum um, payment of like, you know, $20 a month, $50 a month, something like that. And maybe one month someone can only afford to pay the minimum payment, but maybe the next month they'll, you know, pay a hundred or two hundred. Like as long as someone's paying, you know, whatever the minimum is, like set a minimum of, you know, something reasonable and they can always pay more if they're able to. But as long as someone keeps making at least the minimum payment, um, let them get their dental work done. Make some kind of reasonable agreement where you can get some of your money coming in, maybe not all at once, but you can keep the money coming in every month for the bill that they owe they can get their um, dental care and they don't have to like not get their dental care or go without groceries or not be able to pay their rent or car insurance because they had to pay for a crown. I just don't think it's right. I think I've heard of many dental offices that do not have reasonable um, payment options for people that have a bill. So that's another thing that I'm frustrated about. Um, I don't think it's right and I think something should be done about Delta Dental, number one, because they are not accredited with the Better Business Bureau and they have like a one-star rating and that's only because you can't have a zero. They have hundreds of complaints. They're dishonest. Um, and they have unfair rules. And also the whole situation with dental payments, with dental work needing to be done. I think something needs to be done about that too. I wish I knew what. If you've had problems like this, feel free to comment. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. And um, I will update this. If I will do another video when I have any more updated information. Bye.